The gaming community is ablaze with comments about how Helldivers 2 is the Halo game they've always wanted. Even the Halo devs at 343 have gone on Twitter to say that they've pitched games in the Halo universe that were very similar in style to Helldivers. But that got me thinking, what would it be like to actually blend those two series together? I'm not talking about a Helldivers game set in the Halo universe or a Halo game set in the Helldivers galaxy. I'm thinking about what we would be left with if we put both of these series in the Large Hadron Collider, sent them towards each other at super high speeds, and scraped all the Higgs boson crust off the result. I want us to theorize how their individual lore and gameplay might meld and fuse together. Let's take these bangers to the match! Well now, what kind of a monster have we created today? To start with, the two games do have some similarities in their current state of human civilization. They both have one united government. For Halo, it's the UEG, and for Helldivers, it's the Federation. Between the two, I really like the politically satirical angle that Helldivers takes with its view on the single superpower government. It's very propaganda heavy, and largely just trying to pull the wool over the eyes of the population. I think one of the most interesting ways to merge the two together would be to blend that in with Cortana. Maybe she is a part of the system of propaganda. Instead of being a benevolent combat companion, she's really a government tool that is there to monitor the Helldivers while on the battlefield, and keeping them believers of the dogmatic narrative. You know, that futuristic dystopian concept of government monitoring that we luckily don't have to worry about today. The Helldivers get to see far more of the reality of the war than civilians do, so it stands to reason they're more at risk of learning the truth and turning on the Federation. Cortana is there to keep that from happening. If she detects that you're becoming suspicious, she'll shut out some other random nonsense to keep your brain busy on other things. Having Spartans as the player characters running around on the battlefield all over would be too overpowered. Master Chief from the books has a lot more heft than the comparably mushy Helldivers, so it would make more sense for ODST soldiers to fill in that role. Or they could just stay Helldivers. Either or really, they're already similar enough. Hey, maybe instead you can call in a Spartan to fight for you as a stratagem. He drops down, pummels things for a while, and then Warthog jumps away from the battlefield like some gravity-defying superhero. Speaking of Warthogs... <laughs> We would definitely need to throw in some Halo vehicles as stratagems as well. Maybe not the bigger ones like Wraiths or Scorpions, but it would be fun to putter around the mission zone and along with your ghost. As for the enemies, I think we could merge the concepts of the Terminids and Flood together. Maybe humanity was the one breeding the Flood, and then they broke free of all the research stations we keep having to secure or destroy. Maybe this version of the Flood are large bugs instead, and in turn they get the urge to kill humans now that they're free from their livestock lifestyle. The automatons could would basically be the plot of Halo 5, slightly altered to fit this galactic war. All the robots are simply human-made AIs that have gone rampant and have all allied under one banner to kill humanity. After all, Helldivers lore states that it's illegal for citizens to investigate the origin of the automatons, so maybe the Federation is keeping rampancy a secret since they are once again the cause of this catastrophe. Helldivers 1, and likely soon Helldivers 2, had a third enemy race in the Galactic War known as the Illuminate. So, we can keep their concept around, but maybe stir in a bit of Covenant lore to them. Instead of being one benevolent race that humanity attacked first out of fear, they're a collective of races united in the belief that humanity is just scum that needs a galactic rinsing. Also, because it would be great fun, we can throw grunts and their awesome combat dialogue back into the battle. Stay together, like we nurse on nipples. Picture Illuminate Grunts, complete with the amazing Halo Infinite style propaganda towers that we need to destroy or restore to Federation control. Bring out the democratic food nipple. It would also be really fun to throw in a firefight style objective as a type of major order or mission on specific planets. Maybe as the final fight when a planet is about to be won, we have to defend some sort of stronghold or base against wave after wave of enemies until the enemy count is finally dwindled to zero as the last of the foes on that planet fight to the bitter end. Another cool Halo idea that could be merged into Helldivers is those fun endgame warthog runs. Maybe for one of the missions you have to call in a massive airstrike, and you have to plant a target beacon at the blast site and drive through enemy lines back to escape from the blast radius before it lands. 
upgrades. On the topic of locomotion, what about some on-foot help? Helldivers 2 does have a jetpack jump like Halo, but given how seamlessly Halo Infinite fits the grapple shot into its gameplay, I think that should also find a place here. Obviously not for unrestricted use, but maybe it's a supply stratagem that provides you with one or two grapple shots before you need to call down a refill after a cooldown. It would be fun for zipping over to a mission objective, cool assassination moves on a bile titan's head, pulling samples or supplies over to yourself, or just griefing your friends by dragging them backwards into a bug breach. Visually speaking, both games already have decently similar planet-side environments. Dirt, rocks, and plant life interspersed with human ordnance and an eclectic assortment of alien creatures and technology. The only thing I think that might spill over from Halo into Helldivers is more sweeping vista landscapes. Bungie and 343 do love a pretty looking skybox with massive ships or architecture in the background. It would be really cool to see some of that on the various planets we land on. I'd love to see a big shot of the Pillar of Autumn and the Princess of Family Values hovering majestically in the distance. The final big question on the gameplay front is the camera. Does this mash baby have a third person perspective like Helldivers or first person like Halo? Honestly, I really think that the third person perspective wins out this time. I expect in our game, we'll still be seeing situations where the player is getting surrounded by creatures gauntlet style, and being able to have a pulled back view of threats approaching from a wider angle would be a benefit there. I know people are going to call out that the firefight mode in Halo ODST was first person, but the Covenant aren't quite as frequently in your face as the Terminids and Automatons can get, so you only really needed to see what was in front of you. Third person it is. Fun fact, Halo originally started development as a third person title. Last but not least, what would be a good combined name for this mishmash game? Helldivers Combat Evolved? Eh, no. How about Liber ODST? No. Sometimes the simplest and most obvious choice is the best one. What about Halo Divers? Jackpot! Maybe to accommodate that on the game scenario side, we're always jumping down onto Halo rings instead of planets. Maybe there are a ton more of them in the galaxy that were all built by the rampant automaton race, and that is where all the Terminator Flood are being controlled from. Oh, maybe that's it! That's what can tie all of this together! Rampant AIs as automatons created the Halo rings and are using their galactic reach as a radio signal to mind control the Terminid slash Flood into attacking the humans. And then the Illuminate slash Covenant come to realize how powerful this technology is after observing our galaxy from afar and want control over it, which is what draws them into the conflict. And obviously, humanity wants this tech for themselves to prevent their own annihilation, but also to be able to broadcast their own propaganda even more effectively throughout the galaxy. So there you have it, Halo Divers, a game all about human soldiers that drop down into various automaton-created ring worlds to defeat their inhabitants, stop the Terminid mind control, and prevent the Covenant from taking over the technology for themselves, using the strategy stratagem delivery system to call down Spartan assistance, vehicles, ammo restocks, and orbital bombardments, all while having a Cortana-style AI in your head feeding you a healthy dose of Federation propaganda. The UNSC spreading democracy to the galaxy. I'd of course love to hear your own ideas for filling out the lore and gameplay of this mashup in the comments too. What other story elements from either game could we weld together here that I didn't consider? Feel free to also suggest other game pairings we could try mashing together in this style. Who knows, maybe we'll come up with some pretty cool and exciting combinations. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you consider giving this video a like or opting for subbing to the channel for more videos. The more people watch, the more I can make for further watching. As always my friends, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, be legendary.